There was a time when I worked for the government as a civil engineer and I was making $75,000 per year, but I was only bringing home 41,000 after taxes, retirement, all that jazz. When I was an engineer, I thought, man, I just don't know how to make more money and produce another stream of income. It was so confusing to me. And so eventually that led me to think, well, I need to, you know, leave my career and start not only business, but that's beside the point. But in this video, I'm going to talk about 10 multiple streams from income where you could earn hundreds of dollars per day or more. And so this video will give you the key ideas you need to generate more than one income. But let me emphasize that you have to have at least one. So with that being said, I guess my first point to you is to make sure you are at least having your first job, right? If you don't have an online business, assuming you don't. And so dominate that career, bring in as much income as you can. And in this video, I'm going to go through 10 ideas that you can start, you know, after you have that steady income coming in with your job. So I've made a video not too long ago called my income streams exposed. It goes over the eight ways that I make income. So my eight multiple streams of income, I will leave the link to that video up here and in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started with idea number one for multiple streams of income, and that is a retreat or a workshop. I'm saying the same names because those names are used interchangeably, but essentially what it is, is you have an expertise in something. Let's say you're a yoga teacher, a business person. You know that you can gather people to teach something, whether it's personal development, really it could be in any category or niche that you are good at and you gather people. It could be in a local location or it could be abroad internationally. And so the advantage is if you host a retreat internationally, the costs are really inexpensive compared to an event venue in the United States, for example. So when I was living in Guatemala, I visited Lake Atiklan, which is a lake outside of Guatemala City, maybe three or four hours. And there was a group of yogis that were filthy rich. And I'm like, hey, what do you guys do this? And they say, oh, we host Host yoga retreats annually. I'm like, wow, what does that look like? Their retreat was a 30 day yoga retreat, all inclusive, like meals, hotels paid for, and they taught yoga for 30 days. You know, they took their participants through an unforgettable experience and it sounded really awesome. And so they easily made multiple six figures with that 30 day yoga retreat that they hosted at the lake. It's pretty phenomenal. So, any type of workshop or retreat idea you can think of, that is an awesome place to start to generate another stream of income and the cool thing is this isn't something you would do all the time like on a weekly or daily basis so you could host maybe two of these a year one of them three of them whatever your choice is and make a good profit from this retreat or workshop coming in at number two for a multiple stream of income is an online job. So recently in this video, I talk about work from home jobs in 2020 and I give examples of websites where you can get online work. And some of my favorite websites are called jobspresso.co where you go on there, they have a bunch of remote jobs all over the world and you can narrow it down by city, by region, wherever you are, by skill set. And then there's another one that I love called The Muse. And what I love about The Muse is that not only does it offer people remote work online, but they also prepare you for your career. So they want you to enjoy your career and that's why they offer different trainings and preparational courses to get you ready for that career and for that job. But if you are looking to make more of like a side hustle and quick dollar, I recommend actually a phone application called Steady. Steady is an application. I go through it again in that video I mentioned about the work from home. I go over it, I download it and go through how it works. You download the app, put in your zip code and all these jobs come up in your area. Some are work from home, some are in person. It's really cool. But I love telling people to find a job where you could work online from home because you have so much more flexibility, you know, to spend more time at home, spend time with your family, to save up money, to, you know, turn that online job into a business. The sky's the limit with an online job. The number three idea for multiple streams of income are side hustles. My favorite, um, something I used to do a lot when I was an engineer. And why I love side hustles is because it's an easy way to make a quick dollar, but you do have to hustle. That's why it's not the most favorable and people are oftentimes too lazy to do it. They're like, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm like, well, 
then you won't make any extra cash. So I'll also give like a quick summary of a recent side hustle video I did. And one of my favorite side hustles to start is a website called Show Around, where no matter what city you live in, anywhere in the world, you can get paid to show people around your city. Like how cool is that? You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to know the history. You can take people around, show them the best nightlife, the best restaurants, museums, whatever it is, tell people about where to go and your recommendations. Another app you can check out is Handy. So you can download this on your iPhone or Droid. And Handy is a cleaning application. So you would be a cleaner. So don't freak out. I get frustrated because people are like, oh, I don't want to be a cleaner. But I would have totally been a cleaner when I was, you know, still working the nine to five. Cleaning is actually something I like to do. So the idea with Handy is that you find different jobs, homes or businesses or other commercial residents that need somebody to just help go in there and vacuum and clean whatever cleaning situation they need help with they would hire you to do the job and these actually start off pretty good like some jobs I've seen between 20 to 30 dollars per hour so if you're cleaning on the weekend you can get in a good amount of hours and you know make a couple hundred bucks on a weekend uh, cleaning homes or businesses and another side hustle you can get started with right away is transcribing so transcribing audios podcasts videos Videos and you can hop on rev.com become a transcriber that same day all right so the next idea for multiple streams of income is digital products creating a course creating education online the educational industry is or the online educational industry at that is going to be a billion dollar per day industry by 2025 and you can jump in it even if you have no following no nothing no experience it's really that easy if you're thinking what the heck is she talking about if you create a course around something that you know it could be anything it doesn't have to be a profound course on meditation it could be really whatever you want the simpler the better and so you can create this video course and you can include worksheets and all that great stuff there's three platforms where you could host this course for example on teachable.com you can host your digital course there and if you're thinking well i'm not really an expert at anything stop like it doesn't matter if you think so or not there's always something in your life that you've overcome challenges things that you've accomplished a story a story that you can sell that people will pay money for and so you can create this course promote it on just something that you have maybe you have a facebook profile maybe you have an instagram account a LinkedIn, wherever you have some type of traffic, start by putting the link there and over time increasing the traffic to your course link. Don't underestimate this income stream because it is how some people that I know in the online marketing world are making multiple six figures per month. Yes, I said that per month with one digital course. And so this is a great way, good thing to think about for an additional stream of income. The next multiple stream of income idea is consulting. So consulting people on what your expertise is. Now this is a little different business model than digital courses, obviously, because this can be one-on-one -on -one consulting, this could be one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching. It's basically a business model where you're helping take a person from you know point A to point B where they want to get, no matter if it's in nutrition, uh, wealth. It doesn't matter the niche as long as you're, you know, solving that person's problem and taking them on a transformational journey and getting them to where they want to be. So you can easily rearrange the bio in your Facebook, your Instagram, and of course if you have a YouTube channel, you can make video content around the problem that you solve for people. And then you can easily get your first few clients and appointments and bookings when you promote and actually tell people what you do. Because believe it or not, when you say exactly what you do, the more people will come and the more people will be attracted to what it is you have to offer. The next idea for a multiple stream of income is real estate notes. So what exactly are real estate notes? Well, normally when people say invest in real estate, they say buy a property, a condo, a house, and you know, or you can buy a property and flip it. But with real estate notes, it's a little bit opposite because you are being the bank loan source for somebody who can't afford to get a bank loan from the bank. So when a buyer does not get approved for a bank loan, they're looking for a private investor to help them fund the house and then they go ahead and pay that private investor. So 
that means that you would be the private investor and lend somebody that money so that they can pay you back with a higher mortgage rate with a higher interest rate and so you're getting not only that stream of income but that passive stream of income and there's very low risk hardly any risk at all because if for some reason they don't pay and they can't continue their payments they are no longer going to buy that house but then you get the property and so at the end of the day you would end up with a house so the next idea for an income stream is brand deals and sponsorships. So they're kind of the same, but a little bit different. With brand deals, it would be similar to something a company just recently did with me, where they reached out to me and said, hey Marissa, your audience is pretty similar to ours. They like travel, work from home. Would you promote our offer? And for every lead that you bring in, we'll give you $10 per lead. So anyone that signs up to their website or something like that. And so the campaign is an over, but let's say I bring in 40 leads that's $400 that they would pay me for me promoting this company either on my Instagram or on my YouTube channel and with sponsorships it's a little bit different because you would long term do a collaboration with a company so they would sponsor you to wear their gear they would pay you in some instances they would give you you know whether it's meal plans or clothes or shoes or whatever their brand is they would give that to you in ample supply so that you can always you know promote their company and their brand and so that's more like a lifestyle type of thing going on with sponsorships kind of like when you think of a nike sponsored athlete it's the same concept that we're talking about here with sponsorships and so there's a creator on youtube with a huge following i think he has one more than a million subscribers he goes by lost leblanc he has a bunch of brand deals and sponsorships. He basically travels for free, gets paid to travel, doesn't really have to open his wallet for anything related to hotel or travel expenses because he has this huge audience related to travel. And so yes, he has a huge audience, but even if you have a micro influence or a smaller audience, but it is a really specific niche that you're creating content for, companies are still looking to do deals with you because that means your audience is more targeted, more focused, and more likely to buy their offer. All right, so coming in at the next idea, I think we're at number eight, is a membership site. So what is a membership site? Well, you host a program online. It could be on a Facebook group. It could be through a sales funnel builder, whatever, even teachable.com, as I mentioned with the digital course creation. So pick a platform to host a membership site. So you would take a group of people and have a monthly subscription and every single month you would teach them how to do something or you would have, you know, training included on a particular topic. So maybe you are a professional hairstylist and are really successful, have a lot of salons and you want to open a membership site about just that and you're teaching other hair salon or stylists or even men or women going through beauty academy like how to build a successful salon franchise you can teach them how to do that and open up a program or a membership site where they would pay a monthly fee and this is a great source of automated slash residual income that comes in monthly and it's predictable and it's a great business model to get started with it's virtually free of cost and it's a great way to use your expertise to leverage and bring in another stream of income. All right, so the next idea for a multiple stream of income are book royalties. Now book royalties are when you create a book, you sell it on Amazon and you get about 70%, I think it is, when people purchase that book off of Amazon. So I knew a girl, she has a following now, but in the beginning she didn't have any type of following. So she wrote a book, created a book, hired a team, a publisher and an editor to help her complete and write the book. And when she was done, Amazon helped push the book and sell it and so her editing team helped her with writing reviews and launching it and eventually she was able to make like $10,000 on her book launch <laughs> within a matter of two months I think it was so now she doesn't make that much every two months but she's making you know I think a thousand dollars per month still with her book royalties she makes 70% and Amazon keeps the other 30% by the way if you are interested in building a huge income stream on YouTube YouTube on the greatest platform for passive income and all kinds of income and building your online business I have a subscribers to sales blueprint you can check that out in the description it's a six-step 
blueprint that walks you through how to create a profitable online business using what you're watching right now and that is YouTube. And so the next way to create another stream of income is to invest. And so this is something I'm focused on heavily this year because I've created my online business and I have the income now to put my money somewhere else so it could grow bigger and on its own, I guess you can say. But the key with investing that I've learned so far is that the rich people pick one thing. They focus on one thing to invest with. I mean, if you think of Donald Trump, no matter how much you can't stand him, he's a genius because he's mastered commercial real estate. That's his jam. That's how he's created his mega wealth. If you think about Warren Buffett, he's an expert with dividend paying stocks. You know, whether you want to look into oil and gas investing, real estate investing, crowdfunding investing, gold and silver. There's opportunity to learn how to do this from scratch. And the mistake that people make with investing is thinking that they need all this diversity, you know, a diverse portfolio of investment, which is not the case because I've done a lot of research on how the wealthy invest and they don't you know, have their money everywhere where they don't have control. And so this is why, you know, for example, with the stock market, people invest a lot in it, but a lot of wealthy people don't even like the stock market because you can't control what the stocks do. You, there's a risk factor where no matter how good you are at investing and all of that, it's still a risk. So the point is, Definitely when you get a sum of money that you're comfortable with investing and when you have the education to invest your money and focus on one of these investment strategies, definitely do it. And so I'll keep you guys updated with my investing journey as I continue to learn what I want to invest in and focus on that one thing. So if you're enjoying this video, I guarantee you're going to like this video right here where I talk about eight websites where you can make $100 per day or more. And that video starts right now, $100 per day. So you can have your notifications looking like this. So making $100 a day, 